Hello, celebrity megastar and viral sensation. Celebrity Christopher and angelic celebrity Penelope Fountain. Going around the globe and every single nation. Today is February 26th, 2020. And I have a special mass communication. I have been married for eight years. I have been miserable. My own wife does not cook food for me whatsoever. I've cooked meals for her. There is no hot water in the house. My cat is gone. The memories of this haunted house have only plagued me like Germany with a plague. Okay? I miss my dog so much. I still, no matter what, I swear to God on my life, I have plenty of gold, plenty of money. I'm very, very happy financially for the first time in my life, and I'm trying to do everything in my power to protect that wealth, including flying down to Florida and leaving most of my gold locked up in a bank box. I cannot and will not continue on with a marriage that I am so emotionally unhappy with. This woman does not work, had not worked eight years, and has done nothing but extort me out of money over the last month since this lawsuit settled. I am 100% depressed 99.9% .9 of the time. I think back about my little girl, my Adelpha, Romeo, and my little girl, angelic celebrity Penelope Fountain, and I miss her so much. I feel like my heart had been ripped out of my chest with the loss of my angel. That little girl brought so much joy into my life. On my worst days, they always got better when I just looked at her. When she jumped up on my face and licked me in the eyes, my face, I loved her so much. Words cannot describe how much she actually means to me. I do not want our memories to ever go away. She had been the best dog without a doubt that I've ever had in my entire life. I never yelled around her. I never mistreated her. I tried to take care of her and put her before I put myself. Okay, so if I had limited money, I would make sure that she had her bag of royal canine and her dream bones before I even ate a meal. She did weigh 11 pounds, and I got her up to that weight by giving her good food. The little girl ate all the time and had a lot of water. Okay, so I'm trying to elaborate on the fact that my wife locked me out of my house after I given her over fifteen, sixteen, two thousand dollars. It's not fair to me. It was not all at one time, but it was consecutively. I gave her seven hundred dollars in the mall, Town East Mall one day, another eight hundred later, more money after that, even when she went down to Houston. So I've given her over $3,000 within the last two months, okay? And I'm really getting tired of being mistreated by her. I can't wait to divorce her. I can't wait to move on. There are girls that are out there available. My problem is I don't want to get anyone bad. I know for a fact that I am hardworking. I know for a fact that I am easygoing. I'm easy to get along with. I'm hardworking. I'm dedicated to life, financial, 
stability, education, no children unless education is first, unless everything is planned out. But most importantly, I am suffering so bad of an unhappy marriage. I swear to God on my life, my wife does not even cook a meal for me. And when she did cook a meal, it was eggs with cheese and melted plastic because she forgot to take the plastic off the cheese. So I almost choked. The plastic got melted to the inside of my throat. And I was coughing. I was sick for a little while. Eventually, it got rid of it, the plastic in my throat. I'm so tired of this kind of treatment. I just want happiness at any and all cost. And that would be to move on, start a new life. If I am single, I am going to get another dog within one week from now. I'm going to name her probably Penelope the second. I'm not sure. Or I may keep her, you know, the same name. For my, my next dog. I haven't decided yet. But that's only going to be determined after I bond with my next dog. And we find out how her personality is going to be. I hope and I pray that, her, that, that my next dog's personality is like Penelope. Because she literally was perfect. And I miss her daily, every moment of my life that goes by, I think of her. Now, I'm going to conclude this video now. Thank you.